Revitalizing this property will bring together foot traffic, activity to the neighborhood, especially along Merrimack Street corridor that leads to the downtown. We are laying the groundwork for an innovative community partnership that will result in mutual benefits for all participants. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Executive Director of the Coalition for Better Acre, uh, Emily, Emily Rosenbaum. Uh, she has had more than 25 experience, years experience in affordable housing and community development, community organizing, and management of nonprofit organizations. The Coalition for Better Acre has, is responsible for over $50 million in development in this neighborhood. And frankly, I have been working my prior position with the Coalition for a Better Acre for many, many years, and they have had enormous impact uh, in this uh, neighborhood over a period of time, and in fact, uh, working in other neighborhoods as well. So I want to thank uh, Emily for her willingness to partner with us. Uh, you offer a tremendous resource and tremendous expertise to us, and we hope that this relationship will result in our faculty and our students getting even more engaged with the Coalition for Better Acre. Please, uh, please welcome Emily Rosenbaum. Uh, thank you. So good morning, everybody. I was one of the people who ra raised my hand. Uh, my father was born in this hospital in 1933, and uh, son of Russian Jewish immigrants. And the story that goes along with that is that my grandmother was here having a very diff difficult delivery and uh, she hadn't been to this hospital before, and she was a Jewish woman, spoke mostly Yiddish, and she was surrounded by these angelic women in white, and she thought she had passed on to the next world, <laughs> because there she was, surrounded by these angelic women in white, and that's what represents this building to me. I, I work just over there. I can actually see the building from my office, and. When I first came to Lowell, I, I heard that story from my father, and I said, wow, this is so fitting, because here he was, a, you know, a son of Russian Jewish immigrants, and I was blessed enough to be chosen to come here as executive director. I work with uh, Elkin Montoya, standing in the back, who is our board chair, the uh, Colombian immigrant. I work with Rossi An from uh, Cambodia. I work with Suzanne Frechette, French-Canadian, Dave Ouellette, who's on our board. This represents the Acre neighborhood for all of us. You know, many of you were born here, your parents were born here. Um, you don't forget your roots, and, and we none of us forget our roots and where we came from. And so that's what makes partnerships like this so important, because essentially what we're talking about is great places to live, to work, to go to school, to raise a family. That's why my grandparents came here from a very uh, persecuted situation in Russia. They came here for a great place for their kids. And I know that lots of you share that. You share those feelings for your own kids. So that's basically why we do the work that we do. Some of you attended our ribbon cutting last Thursday just down the street on Merrimack Street. And yeah, we, as a CDC, we've been very successful. The $50 million we've invested is just since 2002. There's another 40 or 50 million that came before that in the 15, 20 years before that that CBA has been able to invest by really leveraging all the resources of the people, the government, the, the activists, the voice of the neighborhood. So when Chancellor Mian came to me with City Manager Lynch and said, we're going to have a task force, I said, you are, that's, you are just right on with what needs to happen for the neighborhood, for the people, for the students, for everybody who lives here and loves this area. So. You know, the task force is just the beginning. I'm excited. This day is just a beginning, and we're all going to be able to work together to realize my grandfather's dream and all your dreams about a great place. And that's, that's what we're doing here today. So thank you.